I'm Eric Harris, one of the black belts from the Lily the Bam Johnson School from his original startup in Laurel. And My I'm wife here and I to noticed the school, and what we really liked was the energy and the involvement with the students and the, and the kids, and how it looked like it was a lot of fun. There was discipline and everything you expect from martial arts, but it looked like it was a lot of fun. It also looked very authentic. Well, first, and very I. Rich. I, I uh, brought my, my young son in, and then I joined, and then about a year and a half later, my wife joined, and then we were all on different time lengths, and ultimately, over the years, each achieved uh, over, uh, when they had a uh, location over at the Fairlands Aquatic Center in the uh, community room over there, and then we followed him over to Laurel when he opened up his uh, big grand opening for his uh, very difficult, uh, a lot of hard physical stuff, but it was also fun, and you could see how you could, you could progress. The other thing was that I immediately realized how far, uh, just on a physical level, how far ahead students were at the well, different levels. Uh, the classes generally uh, would have a, a, a warm up and then some general exercise, and that was always upbeat, music, high energy, and, and fun. It was hard, but it was kind of fun. And uh, Professor Bam always made that kind of you know energetic. Um, as we did more fighting or serious forms or things that were r related to uh, combat or life and death issues or whatever, then it became much more of a, of a discipline and, um, and, and um, less, less and more serious. Well, initially, I wanted my kids to be active and participate in athletics, and I, I knew from having done some martial arts when I was young that it really helps your overall fitness and your confidence. Uh, as, as, you're, as you're a little young person, you develop your physical um, capabilities and your balance and, and confidence that you know how to use your body. And then that kind of grew as we stayed and, and moved up in belts. Uh, you could see the advantage of learning how how to defend yourself or how to know how to get out of situations uh, to protect well, yourself. My son uh, uh, became very adept at using his body and, and, and being very physically fit and it helped him in different sports that he's tried and uh, he just recently graduated from Air Force Special Forces which is an extremely hard school to get through both physically and mentally, and I have no doubt that he fell back on all of the struggles to become a black belt. Positive man. development. Well, when a parent um, is responsible for raising their kids and exposing them to things, but they're not always the best person to reach a child on certain issues, and that's why we have teachers and mentors and pastors and things. And so the instructors uh, at the BAMs were very good at encouraging and reaching and getting a kid to go to another level even when maybe the, due to the frustrations of a parent or child you couldn't get them to go there. And so that was fun to watch them grow and gain self-confidence on, on things that they did themselves. When you first start out and you bring your child there, you know, you, you may have preconceived notions of what martial arts are, what they're going to learn or whatever. And you know, we all like the karate kid and all that kind of stuff, but that's not, that's not really real life for most people. And, the truth of the matter is most people can't fight that good even if they're a black belt in terms of real world combat. What they have is confidence and, and some skill and some ability to know how, when, when to not fight or when to run away, you know, to save yourself because it's not really about fighting. But what, what I noticed with the kids was they, as they gained uh, skill and knowledge that, they, that the difference in the program from a lot of martial arts school was that the that uh, Professor Bam came from a hard environment and had been in real fights, some probably for life or death, and could give a perspective on that that was very different, a, a realistic notion of what that was like. So he kept the sport fighting and, and forms and, and stuff like that uh, real, but also explained the difference between what would happen in the real world. And as a result of that, we also did a lot of cross-training in other disciplines ground fighting, grappling, knife fighting, so that you were familiar with how that might come into to play in a, in a real well, world fight. As we went through different belt levels and became more uh, confident and, and higher level, uh, different levels of intensity were introduced. Uh, you can't take a, a young yellow belt or white belt, a beginning student, and expose them to uh, the, the intensity of a real street fight. They'll, they'll, they'll never understand it or be able to absorb it or, or learn from it. But as we went up in levels, that intensity and that realism came up because you have to be able to feel the adrenaline rush of being in a real fight. And you have to simulate that as close as possible without actually doing it. And, 
and then as you work up in belt levels become a black belt, you have to learn to be able to control that because you have that response, that fight or flight response always comes. It's a matter of what you do with it. Can you control it? Can you still think? Can you still have enough control over your emotions to be able well, to make the real it? struggle is not uh, fighting other people. Um, those come rarely in most people's life, and if they do, hopefully you'll, you'll, you'll be in shape and mentally able to survive it. The real struggle in our lives is to do the right thing, uh, to take care of our families, to be honest, to make hard decisions, um, and to support other people. The, the school always had a strong uh, level of community. Uh, there was a strong level of service. Uh, black belts were required. They were. They, 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 they asked the students to give black belts respect, but the black belts didn't get the respect unless they earned it by being servants to the other students. Uh, they weren't just running around being masters. They were, they were servants as well as examples, so they had to maintain a high standard of quality because the real combat is living daily. Well, I think one of the secrets to um, Professor Bam's uh, success as a person, not just as a school owner or instructor, is that he has the ability to be vulnerable. Um, he never ducks his past or where he came from. He's willing to put that all out on the line and, and then be uh, open to uh, suggestions or um, knowledge that other people have. He imparts his knowledge willingly from martial arts and his life experiences on the street. In return, he gets um, examples from people that have done things uh, business-wise, parentally, whatever, and he absorbs that. And that, so that, that, that developed our relationship um, much closer because we can have deep and honest conversations. The other thing is um, I know that what we talk about that's not public stays with you and what you talk to me about stays with me and that's a trust that we have not only as each other but that I have with each of the other five black belts that came in. And